Now that we have seen that all ZAMP's elements are secure, we close the browser tab and we go back to the main menu of ZAMP under Tools, we click on PHP My Admin, uh, which is the application administration program for MySQL. Then we enter a username, which is the super user root, and the password we entered before. And we press Enter to continue. So here we are on the configuration page of PHP MyAdmin and we have to create a database for Joomla and in order to do that we go under MySQL localhost and in the field create new database we enter a name for Joomla's database which is my site and then we click on create next to it on the new page PHP MyAdmin will inform us that the new database, my site, has been created. Next thing we have to do is open the local disk where we installed XAMPP. Here we see XAMPP's folder and we double click on it to open it. In XAMPP's folder there is another folder called htdocs. We double click on it to open it and here we have to create a new folder for the Joomla's installation and we give it a name for example my site we double click on it to open it and here we have to copy the zipped file we downloaded before from Joomla's site which includes all installation files for Joomla so we copy it and paste it here now we have to extract all the contents of this zipped file. I use the program WinRAR to do that, but you could also use WinZip or another program which can extract zipped files. So we extract all the contents of the file in this directory. Okay, now we don't need the zipped file anymore and we can delete it from the directory. Now we can minimize this window and we don't need this window anymore so we can close it and we go and open our browser. Then we go and enter this address which shows exactly to the folder we just created. Then we click enter and we are introduced with the first installation screen of Joomla. And here we select the installation language and then click on next to continue. On the next screen Joomla does a pre-installation check to ensure that our system meets the minimum requirements for the installation. Here we can see that most of the configuration settings are correct, are green, except the display error setting which is turned on and that is actually not so important so we can click on next to continue to the next screen and here we are presented with a license of Joomla which is the GNU general public license we have to read the whole license and to accept it in order to continue with the installation then we click on next to continue on the next screen we have to configure the database settings uh, so here we select first the type of the database which is MySQL under that we enter the host name which is localhost then the username which is root and the password we entered before and then we have to enter the database name of the database we created before for Joomla which is my site under that on the advanced settings tab we don't need to change anything here and then we click on next to continue and on the next screen we may enter the settings for the file system layer FTP which is actually something that we are not going to need so we click on next to continue with the installation and here on the last screen we may enter the main settings for our Joomla site 
First of all, we may enter a name for our site, for example, my site. Under that, we have to enter an email for the admin and a password. For example, we enter admin at mysite.com and a password. Under that, we may load some sample data and install them together with Joomla. And this will help us a lot to understand how Joomla works. So we click on install Zamble data in order to install them. And Joomla informs us that Zamble data were installed successfully. Under that we don't need to change anything. And so we go up and click on next to continue with the next installation screen. And on this last installation screen Joomla informs us that it was successfully installed. But first we need to completely remove the installation directory if we want to continue with the administration of Joomla. So what we are going to do now is to minimize this browser window and browse to the directory where we installed Joomla which is my site inside htdocs inside ZAMP and here we have to completely remove the installation directory so we delete this directory and then we close this window we don't need it anymore and we restore the browser window with Joomla's installation screen. Now we can click on admin to go to the administration login of Joomla. Now on the login screen we have to enter the username for the administrator which is by default admin and the password we entered before. Last we click on login to login to the administration backend. And last, we land on the administration backend of Joomla. From here, you may administer your site by adding new articles, installing extensions, components, adding new languages, etc. etc. So, let's see how it looks right now with the installed Zamble data by clicking on Preview on the right upper corner. And here it is how it looks like right now with the installed Zamble data. I hope I helped you with the installation of Joomla locally on your computer. Thanks for watching and see you around.